Hello everyone and welcome back to more of the Q community server. This is Super Dream Gate. And last time we started doing more of our base, I added these walls um, and put some extra chests. The original chest is still there. So this is where wood is. We do have spruce now. I traded one jungle sapling and one acacia sapling to erosium. Really quick. And that was done. <coughs> oh, my throat is still not happy. Bleh. And then I added the cobble generator and got more cobblestone for what we're going to do today. But this one piece of cobblestone, all by its little lonesome, is actually our trade item that we're going to display. I have traded before, but that's going to be the one we're displaying. Ooh. Ooh, that's fancy. Benzie's done a lot of work, and I feel bad because I just brought my little bridge and I left these signs. But I feel like I'm kind of encroaching on his area, so I might ask him if he wants me to take it down. Because I feel like he's going with, you know, this sort of thing. Uh, I think the bridge is cutting in. I'm going to be, I'm going to talk to him about it. Be like, Benzie, am I encroaching? I'll take my stuff away. <laughs> I will move. I will leave. Uh, so yeah, I'll show why this bridge needed to be constructed now. So yes, uh, that was why. And now we're going to go do something else. Oh, pretty music. <laughs> we are going to raise this up. And I actually don't know how tall of spaces these spruce need. I definitely want some spruce wood because it's really pretty. Oh, that's right. I also got an iron out of a trade. What did I trade? I think it was some oak saplings with Dakota and he gave me an iron. So now we can make one extra bucket, which we need for the cake, which I will do right now. And we can make shears, should we so desire, which I think I do. I, I was gonna say, I did not grab those. I just put them elsewhere in the chest. Herp a derp. And then one additional bucket for me. Very needed. And since we have cows that we still have to spawn, that will be very good because, oh, because <laughs> we can just use that. So we'll have to make a wheat farm as well. <laughs> we also have, uh, hmm, let's see, what do we want to do? Oh, if SDG could speak English. I mean, if I can't speak English, I'm basically useless in all languages because my, what's, whatchamacallit, my grasp on any language is not exceptionally strong. Oh, I have picked the wrong field to go into communications and whatnot. Shaking head. <laughs> all right, so let's try. Okay, I should have known it was a place there. So how tall do we want to go? I mean... I think this is going to be our garden area, so the fountain will kind of be in that little semicircle. I was thinking of doing a double loop to act as a staircase, but maybe a single one will have to be how we do it. Not totally sure yet. Ooh, I see a rim over there. I don't want to... I can kind of see it. So let's see. Um, how tall? guess we have to go over that way so I can get a better view. Of course I set this up. Eh, that's okay. Being able to hop on either direction is for the best. Um, excuse you. 
Excuse me, I guess is better. <laughs> Excuse me, self. Ah, uh, these are really coming along nicely. Ah, uh, so neat. Okay. Focus. Focus, focus. So, I want to go up. Let's see. We're already up technically three blocks, I think. Yeah, one, two. One, two, three? Yeah, we'll call it three. So let's go up seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Torch. And if we come in to that middle block, kind of arch upward a little, that might be something interesting, questionably. I'm not totally sure how tall I want to Go, oh, oh, that's not good. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that, I saw nothing. Uh, cause the thing is, with the way I want the fortress to work, I want the bottom half to be very strongly, like strong in foundation. And then it kinda comes up and there will be something neat on top. And I kind of have an idea of how I want it to look, I just have to think.
Okay, I got it. So, I did it on, on, on three sides. So I'll show you what I'm doing on the fourth, which is basically what I've been struggling with for a few minutes-ish now. Okay, so in this middle block, this is technically up three already. So next what we're going to do is go up another four. One, two, three, four. Set this down, take a stone slab, kind of veer off to this edge, and then, uh, I'm not correct, come on, come on. I got it easily before, but you got to click in the right location. Okay, like this will you work? Yes, like that. Okay. So that's the eighth block. So now we'll add another 10 here to get it up 12. Yeah, we need it at 12. Because these 12 blocks will instigate rain, clearly. <laughs> But that will make it 15 because 12 plus 3 is 15. Be, 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 be. So we'll gently fall, hurt ourselves a little, and then go up the allotted amount. So this will be the top, 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 and then I'll have to handle that design later. Oh, geez. This is the part where it hurts. Luckily, I have a full other stack of melons. Ouch. So, I'm not... So even if my health gets low and I have to go through these, I can go into the full stack. They're basically emergency melons at this moment. Um, let me click that. You can also see the portal down there. Uh, we had to move the portal. There was a long story that goes with it, but things are fixed. Things are good, but the portal had did have to move over that way to get everything to function correctly. And, ooh, our first spruce tree. I wonder when you popped up and I wasn't paying attention clearly. All right, so it's a new day in real time. Uh, it is now Friday when I am recording this. And I've done a lot, <laughs> as you can see. So let me explain what's going on for now. Uh, really quick before I do that. Benzi and I have better connected our little islands. Um, had to round this out. I don't think I fully like the design, but for now it works. I feel, I don't know. I just think that maybe I should round this a little more. I don't know. I'm For now it's okay. For now this, this works. But for this, which is the big thing... So we have floor one, which is going to be the garden, which is just going to be kind of the little hub. You know, you want to get the, to anyone else's base. That's how you do it. Floor two, which is up this way. It's not going to look like this. Everything's going to move. But this is the temporary way of getting around. Floor two is here. So this is where the cobblestone generator is going to go, which we are going to do because I need more cobble. I am definitely running out. And given how everything's set up there, I needed to start getting wheat so I can get the cows on floor three. And <clears throat> oh my gosh, I am just coughing up a disgusting mess. It's not pleasant. And then... So, floor three is going to instigate the rain. <laughs> um, these are equal. They're go an equal distance apart, so this should come out this way as well, so it's even. You know, the staircases are on one side, and then you'll ha I can decorate, maybe, so you can see on a half, like on the semicircle. I was thinking the full thing you could see, but maybe on this semicircle would be better. I haven't fully designed it yet. I'll figure that out. Or if you guys have any suggestions, that would be helpful as well, because I love listening to what you guys suggest and hearing your thoughts. So carefully, ooh, yeah, the acacia stuff I'm growing here, which is weird, but there's no other place to grow it. I mean, now that I've added certain areas, you know, I've added the flooring, and it kind of acts as a roof. Uh, trees aren't growing, really, so I have to hide it. 
This tree's gonna grow, I've decided. Go, not grow, it can't grow anymore. It's gotta go. I might make my own tree using shears and logs if I can't get one, a small one to grow. But for right now, it's doing a nice job of hiding the dirt. So should an enderman spawn somewhere and come in, he can't take that block because it's nestled down in there. My only concern is lighting, but I think if a sapling's on top, nothing can spawn. Plus, I don't plan on really leaving this area anyway. Maybe I'll just take the dirt out each time I leave to prevent the one thing from spawning. Speaking of spawning, I took on a skeleton and got a single arrow. He had an enchanted bow and everything. I'm a little salty about it. So yes, uh, the next step is to get that cobble generator going. And oh god, I'm terrified. Because I've got one bucket of lava. And I can't mess this up. actually did do this in the creative world first just to make sure that the fire couldn't go anywhere so I'm glad I did that because I would have had a problem otherwise so this is a pretty neat little thing although I'm gonna get some loss in here I guess it's fine I didn't test its efficiency but it's not too too bad honestly definitely more need more of this so I'm just gonna stand here and show you it's okay so this is how it works. Uh, putting the water down to this level, making it flow downward, means that it's never going to flow into the device. So it can never overtake the lava and make it obsidian. However, if you put this, if you don't add this so it curbs the lava, it will flow straight down as well and you'll just get one water and one lava that look pretty. So you have to kind of force the lava to flow in, but it'll just make the cobblestone before it can. And then you just get the generator because it's flowing in. And then you can just keep going like this and hope to goodness sake that it doesn't fall into the lava. Um, I know there are far more efficient means of doing it. I think Erosium and Eric have a much more efficient one. But for the sake of my own challenge, I did have to make sure that this was a cobblestone generator. That worked. And adding the half slabs on top is going to prevent any fire. Because lava only spreads from the top of the source block. And there's no flammable block within the vicinity that can catch. And I've blocked the any potential air block that can. If I really feel like making sure, I can add a few more slabs around, although at this point it's superfluous. But I think this looks pretty cool. You can see you, what you have to do for the lava side and the water side. You have to let this flow. You can't let that flow. Uh, it's made out of stone brick and uh, obsidian and stone slabs. So it's not made out of cobblestone, so it's really easy to figure out where you mine it. And I can just stand here for a while and let my pick go and get more cobblestone because I am definitely going to need it. And I knocked my cord over <laughs> for my tablet. Oopsie doops. So, okay. Now I can mark this off in our booklet that we've done it. We've done another thing. Create a cobblestone generator that isn't made out of cobblestone or flammable material. Yay, so today is December 4th, 2015. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I am super pleased with this. Now I can just gather more cobblestone whenever I feel like, as you can see. The one thing I do have to be careful about is to not hit that uh, stone brick block up there. 
Although, I think for the remainder of the challenge, at the very least, that's not going to be a huge issue. Hopefully, at least. But it is okay. Um, I guess the next thing I have to do, which I will do either off camera or later or something. Excuse me. Is... Ooh, another acacia. Yes. I'm thinking I'm going to make the walls out of acacia wood, and I have no idea if I will or won't. It's kind of just a thought at this point, since I've been using it around as my ac accent block. <sighs> I may opt to not do that, because otherwise it takes away from the ring. I haven't tried it, but we shall see. I'm going to test a couple designs off camera. Because a lot of my building is, do I like this, do I not, yes, no, take away, <laughs> keep, blah, blah. So, yeah, I mean, let me take a look at it so far. I might get a lot of cobble and add some form of framing and then design some arches. Maybe I'll time lapse that. But we shall see. For now, though, I think we've gotten a lot done. We've built the second layer and even have a cobblestone generator, and we're working on finalizing everything. So, yeah, I shall better label and start moving things to their appropriate floors. I'll add this floor and all that good stuff. Yes. But thank you guys so much for watching, and until our next uh, Q Community Minecraft adventure. <laughs> 